Welcome back. Today we're installing a Land Pride third function kit on the L2502. Now the process for this install is pretty similar across all the Kubota models, but for the L2502 it's a little bit different. Um, and I will get into, into uh, some of those differences and some of the things you're gonna have to do uh, that the instructions for this kit don't give you. Now before we got to the tractor, there's a couple things I wanna cover that I did in preparation, just some things I did off camera. One thing was installing the couplers and the bulkhead fittings on the bulkhead mount. And this is what attaches to the front of your loader where you hook up your different attachments. The instructions are pretty clear on how to attach everything and put these fittings on and the couplers. Uh, one thing, one issue I've been running into is trying to find the right couplers for the grapple I have um, that can attach to this. This seems to be a smaller size what you find in a lot of stores. so. That's one issue I've been running into, but yeah, I'll, I'll get that figured out. So with this wiring harness, you have um, two plugs for the valve coils, and then you have one 12 volt power supply. This, in the instructions, is supposed to hook up to the receiving end on the tractor, but with the L2502, there is no plug to plug into. So what we have to do here is cut these wires, strip them, and um, splice some wires in that will hardwire directly into the battery and it comes with the inline fuse. I have just some 14 gauge wire that I had laying around um, from some projects I was doing on my Jeep and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use this to uh, hard wire and route it over to the battery. If you haven't heard about these before, these are solder seal wire connectors. They're watertight and they have a little bit of solder in them. It's the easiest, most secure way to connect two wires together if you want a, a permanent bond like that. So you just slide the wire connector onto the wire, and you wrap these two wires together, slide the connector up and over, and you want to make sure that um, the solder is just right over the wire. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a heat gun and heat it up so that solder melts, uh, makes a connection, and then creates that watertight seal on the two wires. Get the wires connected with those uh, solder wire connectors. Just for an extra bit of protection, I'm going to put this um, this watertight uh, tube seal over it. Got the two wires connected and sealed. Should be ready to go install this thing onto uh, our L2502. One thing I will say, I like the I like the design of this control a lot better than some of the previous Land Pride third functions. This feels a little bit more uh, streamlined and kind of kind of tidier and just better designed all around. So another thing I did was put the hydraulic fittings and the couplers and these two hydraulic lines onto the third function valve. This stuff's all pretty straightforward. You know, you get a couple dust caps here, but this is a pretty easy part of the install. This is what it looks like. I'll put together and then yeah, we're gonna get out to the uh, the tractor and get this thing installed. Control. We gotta take off this valve down here.
Next, we're gonna take the hydraulic hose from port P, which is marked under the third function valve, and we're gonna connect it to the uh, tractor's outlet block here. This is the one again that's it's a little tight to get into. Well, that was nice of uh, Land Pride to put a longer nut on here, so it's a little easier to get, get to. Dad in the uh, director's chair. <laughs> they didn't say steel toes. I'll probably be later. <laughs> I had to guess. We went out one night, it was me and my buddy, his dad, and his next door neighbor. His next door neighbor is part of the local SWAT over in Arkansas, so he, we all had night vision on. And me and my buddy are walking side by side. All of a sudden, we just hear, ba, 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 ba. And it turns out like he had put it on wrong, which you'd think this guy's SWAT. He'd be squared away. But his, we came up on him, and oh, you just see him through the, through the goggles. You see him on his knees. He's sitting there like this. He's got a hog doing circles around him. Oh, no. oh my gosh. It eventually just took off, but oh, man, it was so funny. I had dangerous. I mean, he, you know, he could have died. This sure do taste good. It's a little hard to see here, but there's a green plug that you plug into the top solenoid the third function valve and then there's a black uh, plug that you plug into the bottom solenoid uh, pretty straightforward and then we have uh, our wires that we're going to run through to the front of the tractor and hardwire directly into the battery so one difference with the l2502 uh, and some of the other models like the l3302 or the l3902 if you have one of those larger models uh, the wiring harness is going to plug in right underneath the dash right here Touch some metal. Yeah. I hope you got that on video. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Gotta have bloopers. Yeah.
Yeah. One quick thing to note about these uh, couplers. Um, I had bought the Titan Attachments uh, Economy Grapple and I had a really hard time finding the right couplers to hook up to the Lamprey couplers on the tractor's end. So I'll leave a link in the description of the ones I found that I found to work with both this Grapple and the Lamprey third function kit. Um, it's a 3 8 flat face uh, coupler and uh, I believe the threads were a half inch um, that worked with the, the Grapple. It might be different for whatever attachment you're using but the 3 8 flat face coupler is what I why I ended up finding it. it. Took me about four tries to get the right, right size because the description in the kit wasn't wasn't very helpful. Hopefully, that saves you guys a lot of time. Uh, I wish I had that information when I was figuring this thing out.